Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate the typical steps to install a VMware OVA Communication Manager image in preparation for customer translations to be provisioned. The video you are viewing will demonstrate the steps to install the Avaya Aura Simplex Communication Manager vApp into a VMware hypervisor. The steps demonstrated will be performed using the vSphere client and the vCenter to perform the administration. The OVF wizard will be used to install the actual Communication Manager OVA file. That wizard will perform the provisioning of the network storage, defining the network interfaces to be used, and the management of the install. After the install completes, the vApp will be ready to have the appropriate service packs applied and the provisioning with the call processing translations completed. I have opened the vSphere client and have logged into the vCenter server, which allows for the administration of all the hypervisors controlled by this vCenter. The first step is to select a hypervisor. The hypervisor I have selected will be where this virtual machine will be installed. It is indicated on the left. The next step is to select the file menu and the choice of deploy OVF template. The deploy OVF template wizard opens and the first entry is where the communication manager OVA file is located. I am pasting in the HTTP link to the OVA file location for the install. I have pressed the next button to advance to the next screen. The details of the OVA file are displayed. Pressing a Next button advances us to the license agreement. The license agreement is displayed. Pressing Accept and then the Next button to advance to the next screen which is naming of the virtual machine. I have given the virtual machine a unique name and have pressed Next to select the storage configuration. We will use a network attached storage. I have selected the NAS unit and press Next which provides a view of the available storage. Pressing Next advances to selecting of the various network interfaces. The Simplex CM install requires a single interface to be set in this release. I am setting that interface and have pressed Next to advance to the summary screen. This screen summarizes the previous input. Validate the configuration. If all is correct, you would push Finish. You can use a Back button to adjust or to make changes. I have pushed the Finish button which opens a status dialog to indicate the install progress. I will return after the install completes. The OVA install has completed successfully and I am closing the completion dialog. The next step is to start the virtual machine. I am doing that by selecting the newly installed virtual machine shown on the left. That brings up the page specific to that virtual machine. I am selecting a link, power on the virtual machine and then opening the console tab to watch the machine boot. After the machine has booted, I will log in and provision the IP addressing information. I am logging in now as a craft user. After logging in successfully and addressing the two initial questions, I am asked for the virtual machine's IP address, netmask, and default gateway. Confirming the information input, the interface is restarted. Finally, to prove in network connectivity, I am successfully pinging a device on the network. That concludes the actual OVA install. The next steps in the process are to log into the maintenance web interface, apply the initial service pack and provision the Simplex Communication Manager's virtual machine, 
please refer to the published white paper for details on these next steps. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.